Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some lessons that I learned from reading the book Unlabel Selling You Without Selling Out by Mark Echo, the founder of Echo Unlimited Clothing Brand and Complex Media. So I'll leave a link to this book in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But without further ado, let's get into my thoughts and the things that I learned. So like a lot of people and like you probably might be familiar with the brand Echo, the Rhino brand, the, the hip hop clothing type of streetwear that was really popular in the early 2000s and the 90s and when I was a kid I definitely probably could dig up a picture of me wearing an Echo hoodie or sweatshirt. But as the 2000s went by, like after like junior high, high school phase, obviously Echo kind of fell from grace and the main reason that I got this book, I wasn't too familiar with the story of Echo, but I also saw on the title it said founder of Complex Media as well, which is actually a very popular YouTube channel, website that I've definitely been consuming for the past couple years as well. So I had unknowingly been interacting with Mark Echo's work for my whole life. I've been in his stores, I've wore his clothing, and then I've read his magazine and went to his websites, but I never knew anything about the designer. So I figured there has to be some, some good gems in here, and I got good reviews as well. I figured I definitely have something to learn. Obviously, I've been interacting with this guy's stuff my whole life unknowingly. So that's just my little overview, why I got the book, kind of like some thoughts on it, why I kind of relate to it as well. But let's get into the guts of this book. You can really tell a lot of thought went into the packaging of it and the artwork and the design and all that. And the themes throughout the book are illustrated in really interesting ways that aren't like a bunch of other like typical business books that I have or just strictly art books or business books. It's a really unique combination of the two. So with all that aside, I'm gonna get into some lessons so that maybe you can find something useful from this video aside from just the review. The first lesson and maybe the biggest lesson as the title suggests, unlabel. So unlabel yourself is one lesson I learned. And that just means that throughout your whole life, throughout any of the work that you try to do or anything that you do, people, organizations, friends, family, whatever, will always try to put a label on you, maybe not purposely, maybe not consciously, but people will always try to be putting you in a box, putting a label on you, and it's up to you to constantly peel off those labels and be your authentic, unique self. Pretty much the book talks about a concept like called the skin and guts, and you have your skin, which the world sees, and then you have your guts, which is what you really are, and you wanna make sure you're not just being your skin that the world kind of sees and labels you as and you're trying your hardest at all times to display and present your true guts or what you really are outward in your work and your life. So number two lesson and the another big takeaway from this book because it is a book about branding is that understand that you are a personal brand. So this book helped me think about it in a way. So whether or not you like it, you are a personal brand. Like when someone says your name, they automatically think of something. They think of your personality. They think of who you are, how you make them feel. And that is a big part of understanding how to take control of your personal brand is understanding that you are one, whether you sell a product or you sell a service or you don't do anything. So when you understand that you are a brand, this book tries to break down kind of in like a satirical formula type of way, how to become an authentic personal brand and what it means to be a brand and what a brand is. So the number three lesson that I personally liked from this book is the idea that you don't need the gatekeepers and there will always be gatekeepers, but the only thing that you need is the goalkeepers. So you don't need to be approved by some board of organization. You don't need to be approved by the old heads of design or whatever there is in your niche or your field. 
the only thing that you need approval from or that you need to service is the goalkeepers. So there's the gatekeepers, like magazine editors or whatever, media, old media. And then there's the goalkeepers, which is the people who will buy your work, the people who will like your work or engage with your work. You just need to go direct to them. So it's kind of like cut out the middleman. And when it comes to like social media and, and stuff like that, a lot of times if I reach out to something or someone to try to reach people, that person is the gatekeeper and they can choose whether to give you that exposure or not. But when you focus on just reaching the people, you cut out that person and they lose their power. And especially with new platforms like you, not new, but especially with the rise of platforms like YouTube, social media, your own websites, whatever, it's more and more easier for me to make this video, talk directly to you and not have to go through someone to approve this segment for me to come on a show and stuff like that. So you get the idea. So focus on the goalkeepers that for the goal that you want rather than the gatekeepers. So the fourth lesson that I took away from it, and this was actually a pretty small side note in the book, but it was a theme that was explored is you are the goose and not the egg. So what that means, if you're an entrepreneur or a business person or a creative, you're going to end up creating a lot of stuff like in the book, Echo Unlimited or Echo was his, was his egg and it was really hard for him to kind of cut ties with it and do the best thing for the business because he was romanticizing the egg too much. But I really like that takeaway that you are the goose and not the egg because you have to remember that you are where the value is, not just the one creation you made. There's nothing stopping you from making another one. So the last lesson that I learned is that authenticity, is, there's no simple formula for it. It's not a one step thing and it's something that you constantly have to strive for and that you're constantly gonna be shedding your skin to be authentic and it's what you should be striving to do. So, I mean, in the book, the whole thing is laid out with that kind of complicated formula. And he says at the end that it's kind of purposely overly complicated because there is no simple equation to being authentic. You just have to understand a few basic principles and understand what it means to you to be truly unique and authentic and then share that voice as yourself. So those are just five small tidbits and lessons that I took from this. Actually throughout the book, there's tons of practical information and at the end he leaves his own five practical prescriptions he calls them. And the way this book is set up, there's tons of little inserts and side notes and tidbits with real tangible practical advice and interesting graphics to take home points. And then it's all tied together throughout with this dialogue story that follows Mark Echo and company from the beginnings in his roots, in his high school, in his garage painting to how it built up into this million dollar business until they got into kind of a financial crisis and his ups and downs and his starting of complex and how where he's at right now and what takeaways he has for the future. So at first I didn't like that it was dialogue and story and I thought it was gonna be kind of cheesy, but I quickly saw as I read more and more that this book was really well put together. For me, I can relate to it. Like I said, I've been interacting with his brands without knowing it for my whole life. And this book really put it all into perspective for me. Much respect to him after reading this as a creative person, as someone trying to build up and do great things. So if you're like me, if you could relate to this book, if you're like, if you like art, if you're interested in kind of like the hip hop culture and all that stuff, and even if you're not too into hip hop, so much great things to take away from this book. One of my favorite books that I read this year, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And once again, if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing my thoughts and lessons that I learned from this book. There's actually this page at the end with the manifesto on it for you to sign and you can mail it to Complex. 
I don't know if there's anything that's going to be left. It's about two years old. So I don't know if they were doing something for the first couple people, first hundreds of people that mailed it in. But I'm going to sign it and mail it in. I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and like this video if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.